either at the PTO end, the power takeoff end, or the mag end. While the aircraft is at rest, the banjo fitting should be installed on the lowest end in order to facilitate removal of oil from the engine. We will show how to make the connection in a moment. Note how this connection is shown on the schematic diagram. Removing the connector requires depressing the tab through the front of the plug and gently pulling the wire from the back. Note that the regulator rectifier is electrically grounded to the same point as the capacitor, engine, and battery. There are two cylinder head sender units, one on each side of the engine situated on head numbers 2 and 3. Did you know that if you hook the hoses to this tank backwards you will destroy your engine in short order and you will be added to a growing list of builders that have regrettably made this mistake. There is nothing more than a screen inside. That's all that's inside there. This job is easier if you remove a spark plug from each cylinder. The prop rotation will cause the oil pump to draw oil from the cooler which you previously filled and the level of oil in the funnel will start to draw down. Leaving the spark plugs out will result in a smoother, faster spin. We want to keep cranking until the oil pressure gauge reads about 30 psi. Replace the cap and be sure to add the same premix to the overflow bottle. Simply remove the compensating tube from both manifolds by loosening the clamps. Attach the vacuum gauge tube to these very same locations. Set the throttle to about 3,000 RPM and close the valves to make the needles stop vibrating. 